Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another episode of Pokemon Emerald. Hope you guys are having a fantastic day. If you guys did not see last episode, we took on the stupid Team Aqua people and we met Archie for the first time. Last episode's super uneventful, honestly. I don't, I don't even know what where the time went. It was kind of crazy. But uh, I did tell you guys tons of shiny stories and I told you I had one more. And this is like one of my favorites. So what was happening was I was playing Pokemon Ruby and it was on emulator just for fun because I never used Blaziken and I really wanted to use Blaziken and I was using one of like these teams I'd say like where I use Pokemon I don't use that much but um what happened was I was grinding right before Mount Pyre in the in the grass that's like the weird barricades I forget exactly how to describe it but um I was grinding there I was leveling up and I found a shiny Duskull, which was super cool, and it was so funny because I had a Nuzleaf on my team, and the thing about Nuzleaf is like I always wanted to love Nuzleaf so much because it's like such a cool Pokemon, but the thing is, it was like one of my least favorite Pokemon I've ever used in that game, like oh man, I hated that thing. Couldn't find a Leaf Stone for the life of me, and like it learned no good moves. I think like, uh, rest in peace Brittany, <laughs> it knew like, it knew nothing, right? Hated it. Found that shiny Duskull, that Nuzleaf, oh man, it hit the PC so quickly. It was, it was beautiful. But, uh, <laughs> yeah, I, I think Nuzleaf, like, I really want a shift tree one of these days, but Nuzleaf just puts a bad taste in my mouth. Just from that. Yeah, I found that shiny, which was super dope. Uh, haven't found any DS shinies, sadly. The only shinies I've found have been GB, GBA, and, of course, 3DS. So I'd really love to hunt for a DS shiny one of these days. I said that like I've never gotten the red Gyarados. Oh, I, I forgot to include that, but I don't know. That wasn't the that wasn't the one I was thinking of. I Off camera, I was like doing some brainstorming, and yeah, it was definitely a Slugma. I actually went and checked, and I saw my shiny Slugma, and it said it was from Johto, and I was like, ooh. But yeah. That's always fun. But uh, yeah, I didn't count the shiny red Gyarados, so if we count that, I've gotten seven in Gen 2. Which is hilarious. I got the best Gen 2 shiny luck, I swear. It, ma it makes me so hype, because that's like, that's something that differentiates me from everyone else, and I can be so cool. Let me know uh, your shinies in the comments down below. I'd love to hear them. I know I'm um, in Usum. I don't know off the top of my head, and I haven't played that game in years, <laughs> but um, I remember I hunted for a shiny Bulbasaur and got one, that was super hype. Got my shiny Tentacle. Um, I got, I remember it was a water type? No, it was, oh, it was Zubat, it was Zubat, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, I was, I was hunting for Zubat. I have a feeling that I literally told you guys this like yesterday, Jesus, this is crazy. Uh, I'll tell it again, I'll make it brief. I was playing Skywars with Jay, I was shiny hunting because I didn't really care. I was like AFKing and we were just talking and I found a shiny Zubat and I was so excited I killed it. <laughs> Instead of pressing false swipe, I think I pressed like close combat or something. It wasn't it wasn't my best moment, but I did redeem that. It was so funny though because Jay was there and he was making fun of me. It was a great day. Can you not, Wingle? <laughs> but uh, I... I remember one of my goals with shiny hunting was um, to get all the Pokemon I love to use their shiny forms. Like, um, I, my next one, if I could get one shiny right now, it would be a Lunatone. Because I love Lunatone so much. Oh my gosh, that guy, oh, he hits different, that's for sure. <laughs> but um, yeah, Lunatone, really want that shiny really badly. Um, shiny Trico, obviously, that would be amazing. Um, also a sh shiny Articuno, but <laughs> that's kind of crazy. That's actually a fun story, so, um, I've been referencing this a lot, but my Pixelmon Island Let's Play, amazing. And by Let's Play, I mean I played it with my friends. <laughs> um, that was when they introduced orbs, and if you guys don't know, you can get an orb and you can either make it into... A, um, basically an Articuno, Zapdos, or Moltres Orb, and you need to kill, like, I think it's something crazy, like a, like, a thousand something Pokemon 
to fill it up and then you can summon an Articuno and uh, fight it. But I did that with Articuno and I got one and it was on my team and I loved it. But um, when Pokemon Go came out, it was real funny because um, I, I would definitely go for Mystic like because Articuno, I love it. But I remember I saw Team Valor and I was like, that seems like everyone's going to pick that team. So I don't know why, but it just it just stri strikes me as the most popular team. And of course, as you guys know, everyone hates Team Valor, and Team Mystic is like the best. And Jay makes fun of me a lot for it, but oh man. I love me some Articuno. It's definitely the best Kanto bird. I know everyone loves Zapdos. Zapdos is amazing, of course, but love me some Articuno. That's definitely my favorite legendary of all time. Well, that's a fun question. You guys have a favorite legendary? I'd say I really love Kyogre. Kyogre's probably my favorite box art legendary. It's kind of funny. I really I really talk a lot of good stuff about Hoenn. And I don't dislike Hoenn, but I love Johto <laughs> so much more. But, like, everything about Hoenn screams, like, I love it so much. You know, I love Kyogre, love Trico, love... Love, um, what's-his-face Lunatone, <laughs> my boy. <laughs> Paralyzed Heal, it was up there. <laughs> but yeah, like, oh. If I could get Lunatone, I so would. That would make my year. If I find a shiny in this Let's Play, oh, I'll be so hyped. It's kind of great, because with how much I've been playing Pokemon lately, I always have the thought in the back of my mind, like, wait, why haven't I gotten a, uh, a shiny yet? It's kind of funny. But like, I don't know. I feel like I've definitely encountered 8,192 Pokemon <laughs> within the past like few months. Because I've been grinding so much. That's something I really want to do. I've been putting it on the backlog. There are some games where I'm like at the Elite Four. Or um, I know in Silver I'm at Red. And I really need to get on that. But my levels are just not good enough. It really sucks because... Um, Ruby too. I've been stuck on Ruby for I think like four years now. It's very sad. But um, my levels, like I'm pretty sure on that, my starter's like 42, and the rest of them are like below, below um, what am I thinking? 40 <laughs> below 40. But it's ridiculous, man. Oh man, it's so stupid how I haven't done that yet. <laughs> I just want to get all the games to like at least the Elite Four, then I'll start gr hard grinding. Grinding just sucks sometimes, so um, I, I hate it. Maybe if I did it with like all my consoles at the same time, or all my handhelds, I should say. <laughs> that would be fun. Grinding, grinding in this Let's Play, to be completely honest, has been okay. Brittany's defense is like the worst thing I've ever seen, it's kind of funny. But yeah, grinding in this Let's Play has been monkey doo-doo butt cheeks. Let's see what we can do here. Let's potion up Soda Pop up. I always forget about those Soda Pops. Dang it. I told myself I was going to use them a lot more, but I never do. Alright, Peck. Hopefully we can attack this turn. Let's see. Ember, that's scary. Please don't burn. Are you kidding me? We'll just stall him out. Yeah, this battle's very hard. It's like surprisingly difficult. Cause look at that. Uh, Kyle is not even level 20 yet. And this is a kid's game. <laughs> the fact George is taking that much from a stupid Ember is kinda worrying me. Like our team's stats are not up to snuff, that's for sure. At least her defense is amazing. You know, then maybe that's a good thing. How, how um, Brittany's Defense is terrible, and George's special d defense is terrible, but both of them got each other's backs. That's good. Let's keep Georgia in. I really want Georgia to get some more levels. Oops. I love Ludicolo so much. Oh man. I think... I think that the Hoenn, some Hoenn Pokemon definitely surpass lots of Johto Pokemon for me. I don't want to say that I like the Hoenn Pokemon better, but just some of them, man. Oh, some of them hit different. I can name so many Johto Pokemon I love, but oh man. 
I don't know, part of me, part of me's always been like, Owen speaks to you, but like, Jota's definitely my favorite. Let me know if you guys have a favorite region in the comments down below. I'd say mine in order would be, from top to bottom, would be Johto, Hoenn, Kanto, Unova, Sinnoh, then Alola, Kalos. That's probably it. If you guys don't know, I'm kind of a Sun and Moon hater, which is kind of funny, and I didn't even include Galar. Yeah, I haven't beat Sword and Shield because I don't care, because I don't like it. <laughs> It's kind of funny, like, I love X and Y a lot more than Sun and Moon, but Kalos is just, like, the worst region ever. You can't get much worse than Kalos. Pretty sure they have that on t-shirts somewhere. Look at how close we are, guys. Oh, I just want to... We just need one level. Oh, we got the item finder. We will not be using that, but it's cool. <laughs> there are tons of hidden items, but check this out. She's already got a bicycle. That's the swaggiest rival battle of all time. Oh, wow. Those guys are... We're getting away from that, that's for sure. Oh, wild mining. That's always fun. Oh, mining, you're speaking to me right now. I want you. But we're not doing it, because I don't want to torture you guys. Imagine if I used a team of with mining and Puzzle on it. That would be awful. I, I love Puzzle and mining a lot more than other people do. There are people who despise them. And I think they're a cute, like, hey, double battles are a thing now type of Pokemon. I think they're adorable. I like them a lot. Are you kidding me? I really hope that in the later games they fix Truant. So if you got, like, if you got paralyzed, you could still attack. Please, Georgia, just a little bit more, and you can finally be my favorite. Honestly, when Georgia evolves, Kyle the Grove Isle will have some competition, not gonna lie. Alright, Georgia, let's get this. 22 XP. Two, two, nope. <laughs> 222 XP. Yes! Georgia's evolving. The moment we've all been waiting for. Georgia will finally be useful to the squad. Yes, 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 yes. Look at that silhouette. The cleanest Vigoroth I've ever seen, right there. Georgia. Georgia, you are a beautiful specimen. Let's go ahead and check out their description. Vital Spirit now. Let's check this out. Attack went up a little bit. Stats didn't go up too much, but we don't have Truant now, so that's all you can really ask for. Did I mention to you guys how in Gen 6 I was training up a slacking who still knew Scratch and that kind of worried me? <laughs> Don't think I mentioned that, but I got very scared because I was like, this is Gen 6, my guy. We will get the, uh, what is it, the normal type gym move, which I think it's Facade. That'll be good. Hopefully we'll have something for that gym. That gym just can be scary. I don't know, I think Norman's a lot easier than people make him out to be sometimes. Look at Georgia, look at that back spray. Ooh, spicy. Yes, Georgia, I, I just want to see Georgia attack. Yes, please, 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 please. Oh yes. And we don't have true. Look at that damage. Okay, never mind, Georgia, you, you're useless. No, i I do love the slacking line, though. It's super dope. My first exposure to it was in Unova. I'm pretty sure in um, is it Route 12? You can. I think it. I think it's actually at one of the bridges. Like um, the bridge that's at the top right of the map. Pretty sure that bridge you can find. Uh, you can find slack offs. Or is it a slacking by then? I, I'm pretty sure it's a slacking. I don't even know. Who cares? Who cares? Yeah, that was my first time ever using a Georgia. Wasn't on my team though, of course, because, oh god, no, I would never do that to myself. Using a non Unova Pokemon after the post game? Heck no. No bueno. Are you kidding me? Electric, I love you, my guy, but, like, you're annoying. Dang, okay. 
Okay, Georgia, I see you. I see you. Kind of want to show Kyle a little bit of love. We may use him an extra, an extra large amount. I need to take a sip of my drink. Oh my gosh, guys, I am parched. I almost went, ah, and choked. <laughs> Fun fact, I was about to do it, but I was like, wait, I'm gonna choke. Voltorb reminds me of Voltorb Flip. Have I talked to you guys about Voltorb Flip again? I've always wanted to get good at that game, and whenever I play through Johto, oh man. Well, it's Heart Gold Soul Silver, so. Dang it, that'll be a while. But, like, oh man. When we do Voltorb Flip, ooh, ooh, ooh. You guys better get ready. All right, we got a, a Pokemon collector and a guitarist. A collector and a guitarist walk into a bar. Oh, what do you want? Thank you, Edwin. Now I can sleep at night. Let's keep going even though we're paralysis-sized. Are you kidding me? Let's just, let's just do it. This is going to be, the, I have a feeling this is gonna be the worst battle of all time. I need to pour out some more of my drink. This is, I think this is just a me thing, but I always love pouring out my drinks into a cup. I don't know what it is, but it just makes it taste better. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I just like the convenience factor, you know? Alright, let's go ahead and try to multitask real quick. Alright, throwing this bottle. Uh, that was some ASMR right there. I did that way too close to my mic. Oopsies. Throw that over there. Perfect. <laughs> we did it. Uh, what am I even doing? Alright, Pursuit. Hidden power, jeez, I forgot that Abra's good. Metal sound, isn't that special defense? Yeah, okay. Kyle, cool. Georgia, <laughs> cool. I love just giving my opponents an extra turn for fun. Please don't be fighting. It's fighting. <laughs> Literally my one request in this world. I couldn't even do it. Kyle, please. Kyle, you useless piece of garbage. Georgia coming in clutch. Something that Kyle couldn't do himself. Level 20, look at that. Kyle's stats are so good. Um, what can we even use against this guy? Like, absorb? Let's <laughs> just absorb. This is going to be a slog. My favorite word of all time that I do not overuse. This is going to be a slog. Alright, we hit ourselves in confusion, that's no fun. Alright, looks like Georgia's just pulling ahead. Sorry, Kyle. That's what happens when you're a slacker. Snapped out of confusion. Are you kidding me, Kyle? Kyle, Georgia is one-upping you so hard right now. I hope you know that. This is very disappointing. I thought I knew you better. Okay, there we go, Kyle. This is going to do zero damage. <laughs> oh, wow, that actually did a fair amount. Maybe because we were in Overgrow and we got a Miracle Seed, but like, who cares? Yeah, Overgrow is super fun to use. Like, the starter abilities. Sometimes you get in situations where you just freaking destroy. Like, if you have a Blaze Typhlosion with Fire Blast and you're at like 1 HP, oh man, it does so much. We got an encounter. A Gulpin. <laughs> whenever whenever I first got Alpha Sapphire, I was completely clueless with what I wanted my team to be because I was like, should I use my Sapphire team? And I was like, no, I'm going to do something cool. And I don't have the actual team. It was something weird. I think it was a Grumpig, a Swalot, like a, I think it was a, um, a Tropius. I think I still have that team to this day, actually. I think I transferred it up as a joke. It was like the worst team ever, though. I used freaking Tropius. Like, that's cool. But who cares, right? That's what I'm saying. Oh, man. We're trucking. Is there anything else we can do right now? Hmm. I think Wally. Yeah, Wally's waiting for us. Hey, Wally. Hey, Wally. Oh, oops. <laughs> Did not mean to talk to you. Hey, Wally. Alright, this is a super sad scene. Wally's all like, hey, Dad, I'm a Pokemon trainer. And he's all like, Wally, you're adopted. And he's like, what does that have to do with it? And he's like, Wally, you're adopted. Alright, let's see this. He wants to battle us with his Ralts, who I think only knows Growl and Teleport. Is that a thing? I think that's canon. Canon to the storyline of Trainer Wally. 
Alright, Georgia, let's slap her. Slap him. Very nice. We're gonna get up to level 19 already. Jeez. Not, nope, never mind. <laughs> That's not happening, apparently. You did lose. You're a failure. So right now Wally's dad, or Wally's uncle's like, hey, you know, you're you're going home. That's awkward. Alright, bye Wally, we'll miss you. Yep, that's me. Alright, we're visiting Verd and Turf sometime. That's cool. Are you kidding me, my boy? Scott. <laughs> hey y'all, Scott here. Please leave. Alright, see you later. And with that, I want to thank you guys so much for watching this episode of Pokemon Emerald. I will see you guys in the next episode. Peace out.